Well, Republicans say they could put even more money into North Carolina's school voucher program amid a surge in applications. Every family is now eligible regardless of how much money they make. Capitol reporter Michael Hyland has a closer look tonight at the concerns that there's not enough accountability here. Go to the right. How many units? North Carolina is undergoing a massive expansion of its school voucher program known as the Opportunity Scholarship. Shaquita Spencer is a single mom who recently told me about the difference it's made for her kids, now being able to send them to Victory Christian Center in Charlotte. But when they're at school, it's kind of like they just, I just felt like they were just doing whatever that they wanted to do. But when they came to Victory, they definitely have, you know, structure in everything that they do. Republicans in the legislature have now made every family eligible regardless of how much money they make and even if they're already sending their kids to private schools. Awards range from about 3300 to about 7400 per student. The state got more than 72,000 applications, which would exceed the $293 million set aside for the upcoming school year. Republican House Speaker Tim Moore told me lawmakers may put more money into it this spring. As we approach this budget, as we approach this issue, it's not going to be do something at the expense of others. It's going to be trying to kind of you know, rate, raise all ships, if you will. Democratic Governor Roy Cooper wants a moratorium on the program, saying this is coming at the expense of public schools. Critics also question the accountability of the program and schools excluding students based on religion or other factors. In its handbook, Oak Level Baptist Academy in Stokesdale says it will dismiss any student who listens to worldly music on a regular basis, adding rock, rap, country music, etc. are dangerous evils. We also need a, a educational accountability. Are they actually doing a good job teaching kids? We should know that if we're putting public dollars in it. If a school is failing to educate those children, they'll be able to vote with their feet. They'll be able to withdraw their students from that school. Speaker Moore says this is one of several things lawmakers will talk about related to the budget. Funding for this program is already slated to increase to about half a billion dollars in the 2031-32 to 32 school year. In Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.